Name how many men in this Nigeria alone that can come and stand him for being a good dad. This one will work from Monday to Saturday and enter flight Sunday morning just to take his child to school. All right, what's going on? So let's watch this video together, okay? I kind of like how I did the one yesterday. The only thing I made sure today, uh, shout out to Auntie B, uh, making sure that the audio is clean and you can hear me loud and clear, hopefully, right? So um, there's about seven lessons I'm gonna pull out of this for you. So stay tuned, let's watch it together. Um, this is a gift that keeps giving. These are some of the things you never want to do in one shape, form, or the other. Okay, so let's watch together. This man lost his first son, his first son, and you want to come and tell him how to mourn? Yeah? You want to tell him how to behave? Wait till you lose your own, then show us how it's done. But until then, as long as you have not experienced that pain, please shut up. If you don't have anything good to say, just shut up. Because I'm wearing any man name you don't know what he has been going through. Since last year, April, you don't know what he has he had to endure till today. You don't know. And he doesn't owe you that story. It is left for him and his God. But what you will do is to mind your business. Pokano Arapo, he left home in the midst of pain, unbearable pain. And he had to go back to work. Because if not, no, who will pay his bills? Who will take care of his children? Who will pay his children's school fees? Who will feed them? Who will bring money? He's a man. He went back to work because he needed to go to work. But no, it's a problem for you people. You see, you see miserable people that have not controlled their own home coming to tell him why are you is it not just one month or two weeks or two days? How does it how is it your business? How does it affect you personally? And then the next one, you see him trying to show strength. You see him looking for reasons to continue living. And then you come out to condemn it. Hey, you're not supposed to be laughing. Hey, that, if he wants me to, to dance till my legs break for him to feel happy, I will dance from now till 150 hours. I will do dance, dance Saturn. That is the mother Saturn. If he needs me to sink from here till next year for him to laugh and be happy, whatever he needs, he gets. Because you do not know what you would do if you are in that situation. So don't even, t don't, don't try to tell somebody else what to do. It's not everything you put your mouth in. It's not everything you say. You don't know what is happening. You don't know what he sees in his house. You don't know what he's, go he's, what he's going through, what he's enduring. That one after on social media, how can you sit in your house and the way another person is living his life is, is, is busting your head? When you worry him have you ever seen him tell you how to live your life? This man be a great man. Quote me anywhere in the world. Yule Doche is a great man. Born by a great man. He's a great man. And no amount of evil lies spreading around. No amount of deceit. No amount of manipulation by anyone will ever bring him down. Ono be late. Come for me and I will come for you ten times. Come for Dogu, and I will come for you 1,000 times over. I'm waiting for any one of you. He has a right to mourn anyhow he wants. You cannot tell a man how to mourn, for goodness sake. Kedoye, who does that? For Christ's sake, who does that? You cannot tell a man how to mourn. And who born you? Who are you? Who are you to tell a man how to mourn? Anybody that has any opinion on it, who to tell a man how to mourn? If he wakes up and the only thing he wants to do is to dance and post, he will dance and post. If he sleeps and wakes up and, and like, okay, today I want to talk and post, he will talk and post. Your own is to mind your business. If you feel like he's not mourning correctly, wait till you lose your own child. And then one, show us how to do it correctly. You cannot force it. Is it, is it because you, what people want is for him to, you know, Stay like this. Hey, I'm dying. You know, my son died. So you people will know that he's mourning. Oh, now, Paula. So that you people will know he's mourning. No, he will do it exactly how he wants to do it. Because he's, he's strong on the social media. Because he's strong, coming out strong. 
Do you people know what he goes through every day inside the house? A man that is taking care of his family, that has continued to take care of his every bill, every bill, every down to the smallest thing you can ever think of, he pays for it. School fees, feeding, name even transportation from Kesiba, he takes care of it. Up until today, he still pays this bill. Now I can just over where the mind and the cuts to come out to discredit. Because you're a faceless blogger. And because you think I come and met me, nobody can touch you. Because nobody knows who you are. Well, I, I want to tell you one thing you don't know. You little chase is your karma. Did you see me? I'm your karma. I never met on them while I know it's in Nisifaka. You don't touch God's people. And when they get you separately. And when there are people in this world that you don't touch. If you touch them by mistake, you will be destroyed by correction. Because what? You want to destroy a chineke and a destroyer. You want to bring down a mountain, chineke hova. You can't. You're very small. Yule Doche is a liberal man. He will never try to control you. He will never try to cage you or, or hold you down to do his biddings. No. It's a lie. You're a liar. You're a liar from the pit of hell. You're a liar. Just lover. If you be a, a chronic liar, that's what you are. Every lie that you have ever spread on my head and you Doche's head, you will suffer for it. Igata Ofia. Did you hear me? I said you will suffer for it. You has entertained the world for over 15 years. He's the best actor in Africa. Quote me anywhere. And he can defend it anywhere. He's the best director in this game. But you have made it your business to destroy him. Because of what? The decision that he took over his own life. You can't come out anywhere to say that this man abuses anybody. You can't come out anywhere to say this man does not take care of his family. You can't come out anywhere to say that this man does not provide for his family. You can't come out anywhere to say that he is not present in his children's life. Even in the man on a from A to C. Yuli Doche is the best man in this world. And I'll say it and I'll say it over and over and over again. He is a good man. And anybody that knows him will say this. Only open a deal go with this man one on one will tell you this. He has a good heart. He's one of the actors that you can bank on in the industry. He is one of the actors that you can bank on in the industry. He will never abandon you and your job. He will never lie to you. Sigim Wanona, there's a more another set. He's not that kind of an actor. Ask anybody. He's an actor that, and then when he comes, he delivers. One a or the broga in him. It's not a guy name, but you want to bring him down. You want to drag him down because his stardom, Nechugola, he keeps you awake at night. But he's only getting started. <laughs> he's only getting started. Ayagabe he has not gone far. What can it be do? So you know what? Prepare, get yourself ready. You can't bring him down. He's the best dad, as far as I'm concerned. He takes care, on a take care of his own end. If any need that is required of a man, he does it and more. Okay, I'm mad. Name how many men in this Nigeria alone that can come and stand him for being a good dad. This one will work from Monday to Saturday and enter flight Sunday morning just to take his child to school. Who does it? He will work from Monday to Saturday. He's so tired, so exhausted. But he will enter flight Sunday morning. Just so go we are to school that Sunday. Or go we are to school on Monday. Who does that? Then Tuesday morning, he is back to the east and he's back that same Tuesday. He goes on set to start shooting again. When does he have time to ever rest? And then that's what you will come out to discredit because he did what? You want to take away his glory from what he has worked so hard for. You can't do it. Even men we and I will not allow you anymore. Enough of the silence. Come for him one more time. You can come for me, oh. 
and I will give it to you 10 times. Try your dogu and I will give it to you 1 billion times. Anyhow, you put up a stick up or pull your top of the sweater that is how it will become now. Enough. Insult him one once and I will insult you 1 billion times over. Oh, one more the couple, he's a human being and I'm a blood now. Rare. If you look at the double, it's a of It's a dick one of them. If you look at you let the you cannot bring him down. No matter your manipulations, you matter your, no matter your wickedness, you will never bring him down. That man will continue to rise. He will continue to rise right before your eyes, right before your manipulations, right before your wickedness, your backstabbing. All gonna arise in the midst of all that. Until he gets to other fifty years. You can't bring him down. All the people that are, you know, behind social media are lying every day, distributing all sorts of news, bad news against him. You're actually doing it to yourself. You think you're doing it to him? <laughs> you're destroying yourself by yourself. I will no longer sit back and watch you frustrated, wicked people. Just lover and the rest of them destroy Yuli Duche's name. I will not allow it any longer. I said again, come for him and I'll come for you a billion times over. I'm waiting. All right, so let's talk about it. First thing first, okay? First thing first. She talked about his way of money, okay? That people are trying to teach him how to mourn. I don't think so, okay? I don't think so. I think uh, it's more so about the fact that uh, the attention, the level of attention is uh, particularly craved by both of them, by you and Judy. It's gross and they deserve all the attention they're asking for, including with this video, okay? has nothing to do with money. I keep telling you, when you look at life, right? If you don't get yourself together, if you don't take care of yourself, you will always have, there's more than enough things around you that you can always point fingers at. It's just the way life works, okay? You can blame it on, you know, you see that TV on top? The fact, okay, you might not see it, but you know, the fact that it's covered, you can blame it on these blue walls, you can blame it on, like I can, like listen, if I didn't do this video this morning, I can blame, there are more than enough things around me I can blame for it, right? It's up to my discipline level, it's up to my diligence, right? It's completely like, it's, at the end of the day, the, 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 it goes back to me, you know what I'm saying? So it's very, very important to pay attention. I'm talking a little louder because, uh, hold on one second. Let me just, uh, hold on. You guys need to use this place? You good? All right, just making sure. All right. So at the, at the, at the, it, it comes back to, to you. I know you don't like to hear that, especially if you've been a victim of some sort, one way or the other. You don't like to hear that. You think this is about Judy. No, this is not about It's about you and me, right? Uh, we're just using her as a scapegoat. Uh, actually, more so, she's using herself as a scapegoat, okay? But it goes back to you. Every time you point fingers, there's always four pointing at you. And those four represent opportunity for you to uh, hold yourself accountable, responsible for your own life. Does not exonerate people that I might have done you wrong. So if you're actively trolling Judy right now and you're using that as a yardstick to say, ah, that's an evil person, the same thing goes for you, right? It's not just two-way street, it's multiple-way street. So it, this is not about money or this was his way of money or anything like that. No, that's cap, big time cap. Uh, this is about, uh, this is about growth, uh, crave for uh, toxic attention, uh, particularly from people, strangers who don't really care. And they will give, social media has more than enough attention. Some of us were extracting lessons. Majority of them, this is just cruise. It is what it is. And you know, Yoruba people say, wait, 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 That's always going to be a fact of life. Just pay attention to that, okay? All right? 
All right, so the, the, the second lesson here is uh, she claimed that the men went back to work. Nobody as well. This again, another thing you can point like, he went back to work, so we should praise him, right? Well, shout out to him for going back to work. That's what a man is supposed to do, okay? And uh, that's to be appreciated. If you ever see anybody do that kind of stuff, um, that's to be appreciated. The fact that they're able to go back to work after such a, a big hap, right, happening in their life, like a big event, losing a son, that's that's a big deal, you know. And to be, and some people never come back from that. Some people go into depression, you know, it affects their life. Some people. The rest, I've seen stories where the rest of their kids had to, he was a, it was, this particular situation was a single father. The rest of the kids had to take care of him because he lost himself completely. And he had to uh, depend on his teenagers to go to McDonald's to work and feed him. It can really go down the, this true, right? So shout out to him. But again, there's going to be more than enough things around you you can point fingers at when the issue is actually you, right? And that's true for all of us. When you look around, there's always someone, something else to blame. That keeps you in the hole. That keeps you, and you can't win that game. Because again, there's always, remember, there's always something to point fingers at, okay? Well, number three, she talked about, um, you know, all of you don't mind your business and stuff like that. Well, <laughs> is it a two-way street? No, it's not. There's multiple way streets, uh, about 2,000 different ways of streets. Same thing goes back at her. She's feeding the nonsense she's the one feeding the beast literally multiple heads of beasts she's feeding it with stupidity and shall i she has herself to blame for it <laughs> okay she has to blame herself for that always okay she will mark my words she will get tired okay if she doesn't get tired the system will get tired there will be more than enough stories to drown her and her husband out or alleged husband whatever they want to call it okay she cannot beat the game that she's engaging this is now where her power lies her power at this moment lies in the work that she needs to do shut up keep quiet even when your feelings are being provoked engaged by a bunch of strangers shut up go somewhere quiet the, your power is not going to be in engage you can't win that game okay the fourth lesson that i want to pull, pull, pull out of this is this okay this is indecency let's call it what it is right i'm not even a big fan of calling it what it is right because a lot of people use that to cap too but let's be let's just see that's what it is right uh, this is indecency. Has the mother spoken yet about her own son that she lost? Right? Has he spoken yet outside of just a statement? Thank you for everybody who showed him love. Has he spoken yet? Why are you as a side chick being the first one to speak about it? Yes, it seems like, oh, you're speaking well. You're speaking good about it. So, you know, I'm just speaking, you know. So I'm speaking for him. I'll, every time he fights, he, if you fight him, I'll fight you 1,000 times. Doriro, why are you lying? <laughs> right? If you want us to do a live session on this, let me know. We'll schedule it for Saturday. But let me know if you want us to do a lower live session. I want to hear your opinions in the comments. But if you want us to do a more elaborate session on it we'll do it but i wanted to drop this really quickly as the mother as the mother of the child unfortunately who unfortunately unfortunately passed away has she spoken yet if she hasn't spoken why are you talking oh because i have good intentions this is another opportunity for you to see that good intentions not only is it not only do we not believe that you have good intentions we also believe that good intentions end up ends up in the bottle bottle all the time. Uh, if you lack social, emotional power and self intelligence, all your good intention ends up in the mud every single time. And in addition to that, we don't believe you. We don't believe that you have good intentions. But we're just saying, just in case, because we're humans too, right? Just in case we missed it somehow, you're lying. Okay, we don't believe you. Our opinion is that you're lying, okay? But even if you weren't lying, 
you lack social you're socially you're so there's no way you're not a socially awkward person right yeah it's it's bad okay it's lack of social intelligence lack of emotional intelligence okay uh, and outright indecency like it's it's disgusting why are you speaking on this woman's child first why are you speaking on this man's child first in this spirit with this tone with this look on your face why are you the one speaking on that it's disgusting okay number five you're trying to beef with jesus lover. who is jesus lover who is that okay it's a platform it's a media platform okay whatever they do they're doing it right now it's not designed to satisfy you especially that you're a stranger it's designed to push narratives to push stories to push news yes in the most tabloidish way but tabloid business has always been have you ever seen anybody be even the even the palace in england cannot beat the tabloid is the tabloid your mate are you that daft also you should just let them go no we're saying that's not where your power is they don't even have as much power as you do over your own life it's your response how you respond to anything that's happening in the public place that's where your power is it's how you respond it's not by stopping you can't control other people how much more a whole media platform that's faceless so it's just a, another example of another person who the who has no idea how much power that they have right but they're facing the wrong direction so they become even more powerless in terms of reality in terms of how things are playing out okay number six this part a good man she kept saying he's a good man he's a good man gentleman it's not good enough to be a good man okay you live in the real world there are all types of forces against you you fight not the flesh don't be stupid don't be stupid if you're a good man be good for yourself that's that should be good enough for you you shouldn't need other people to validate or reward you for being good if you need it there's a good chance that you're not really a good man okay what do i mean by that for the marketplace you're not really good enough for the marketplace this marketplace this active world that we live in where there's active competition going on either we acknowledge it or not right will drag you for every time you have unrealistic expectations around your own goodness it doesn't work it just doesn't work okay if you're a good man there's nothing wrong with being a good man obviously but if you're not satisfied enough by just being good just is being good if that's not good enough for you then maybe it's not good enough for have you paid attention to that that maybe it's not good enough for the marketplace for the world the real world that we live in right and it gets worse when you let a random strange woman speak for you they don't know what you're going through in reality they can only sympathize they cannot empathize because she's not a man in addition to the fact that from what we can see this is a very this this is not a good person okay she cannot help you she might be good to you she's not good for you overall and then we're here we're patient waiting to hear yeah, hopefully it won't be as bad as we've seen because the last thing I told you so is to have to say you lost your son you lost your family it's just bad it doesn't look good optics is everything perception is everything right last but not least the vengeance is hers the scriptures say vengeance is mine the lord's right not this woman this woman is ready to fight violence it's hers literally it's not you she's not fighting for you she's fighting for herself obviously she's not fighting for me you let doce and the children she's fighting for herself do you see the look on her face is this person fighting for someone or this is fully selfish let me leave you with that do you think this is selfish right do you think there's other things going on she would you last on your way is there spiritual battles in this as far as you can see 
What what did you what is your take on this? What can you see in all of this so far? You think this is just cruise? No, this is not cruise. This is real life lessons. That's why I keep bringing it back. This is example. This is a scapegoat. This is an example of what you never want to be at lower level in your own family or at the macro scale where they are superstars, right? Pay attention to some of this stuff. Okay, lack of social intelligence, lack of emotional intelligence. You're only stuck in how you feel in that moment. You don't think about tomorrow when you act because you're upset. Because you're upset, you think that exonerates you from consequences. That's not how it works. But answer the question below. Okay, the vengeance is hers. That's my opinion. This is about her and nothing else. She's very selfish. She's done some things, and I don't know what it is. Um, if you think it's spiritual, I'm with you, but you might have a different meaning of spiritual to me. Uh, particularly, uh, most of it is mental, psychological, and this man has stuck his hands in the wrong jar. And uh, this, it's going to get worse before it gets better. As far as his family is concerned, it's going to get worse. Sorry. All right, that's all I have. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, make sure you're hitting the likes. Make sure you're checking the boxes. Make sure you're subscribed, notification, all of that, okay? And uh, don't forget that I have a free book at loveandprestige.com for you. So go check that out and join the membership. It's still free for now. Uh, if you need coaching help or anything like that, reach out. Reach out. Uh, I might be able to help. All right. Talk soon. Bye now.